All right. How do you get vendors to report to all three of the big major business credit bureaus? Dun & Bradstreet, Experian, Equifax. Let's talk about it, baby. All right, all right. Welcome to Cakeology, the science of success. If this is your first time here, we talk about money, business, and credit. Two to three videos every week. Make sure you guys subscribe. I gotta go to 10,000 subscribers. I need you guys, all right? So today, I get this question asked a lot. I signed up with these vendors. Um, I, I, I've made purchases. Uh, I've even got credit cards or so on and so forth but I don't see them reporting to all of the bureaus. Well, ladies and gentlemen, business credit is not like personal credit in those terms, okay? Let me say this one more time. It's not like personal credit, meaning not all vendors report to all of the business credit bureaus. There's a number of bureaus out there, okay? In the very beginning, I mentioned three of the biggest. So we've got Dun & Bradstreet, we've got Experian, and we've got Equifax. You might not see that particular trade report to all three bureaus. Why? Because not all vendors have the ability to report to all three bureaus, all right? The way that business credit works is you have to have a relationship with that bureau. Being a vendor, you have to have a relationship with that bureau. You have to go through certain policies and procedures to be able to report data to them. Not all vendors want the headache of reporting to three different bureaus, nor do they, nor do they have, have they gone through the process to be approved to do that, all right? That's why it's very, very important that you understand what vendors report to what bureaus. That's how you get those scores to be correct on all three bureaus, okay? So when, when you're doing business with a vendor, it's important to note, do they report to Dun & Bradstreet, Equifax, Experian? Because then you can check them off like, okay, cool. I know they're gonna report to this bureau. So it's gonna help build this report up, but I still need to do business with other vendors that report to the other two or maybe just the other one, right? So it's very important that we as entrepreneurs understand our business credit, not just, well, what are the scores, but how to utilize it, how to build it. It's very, very important. Every entrepreneur needs to know that. So when we're talking about vendors not reporting, we have to be diligent into understanding, well, this vendor reports to this bureau, but doesn't report to that one. So we have to make sure that we do business with different types of vendors that we know report to different bureaus. Now, even after they've reported, sometimes you're not gonna be able to see it. Why? Because how are you looking at it? Are you looking at it on NAV? Well, NAV sometimes doesn't update properly. NAV sometimes is a little bit late in showing that data. See, we have to understand that NAV is a data aggregator. They're not a bureau. They're gathering information through APIs from these other bureaus. Sometimes that data is slow. Sometimes that data is down. Sometimes your report has not updated yet. So it's important to remain patient and also maybe give NAV a call because NAV, sometimes they need a little push. They need a little help. Okay, they might be slow. Your report might not have updated. You might not be a paying member. You might just be a little scraggly right now. It's okay, I've been there. But if you wanna become a paying member of this service, and I don't have anything to do with them. I'm not getting a nickel, okay? So, but I'm trying to tell you guys, if you wanna look at your scores, you do have to upgrade your subscription with them. So if you're still seeing that ABC, you're still in the lower, you know, you haven't paid yet, okay? So if you're seeing scores, then yes. Now, when you first time even check your NAV report, it might not even find your company 
Why? Because you don't have vendors reporting to that particular bureau or it hasn't updated yet. So give them a nudge, give them a push. Also check with the vendor that you're working with. Check with the vendor that you made purchases with and ask them, what, what bureau do you report to? When have you reported? What's my limit? Because you won't be able to see their name on the report. Okay. That's not how business credit works. If you look on the uh, business credit report, you don't see, oh, Kmart or uh, a Hooten or Tootin. You don't see that. You see an industry. So you're going to see packaging. You're going to see communications. You're going to see trade. You're going to see that type of stuff. Okay. Business credit is different when it, when it comes to looking at reports, being able to see what's on them and to be able to decipher them. Right. So we've got Dun & Bradstreet, you've got Experian, we've got Equifax. You want trade lines reporting to all three? Well, make sure that you're doing business with the right mix of vendors. Vendors that report to Equifax specifically if they don't report anywhere else. So you know, okay, my Equifax report is covered. Okay, now I got another vendor here. They report to Dun & Bradstreet. Cool. Well, remember, you need three trades reporting to Dun & Bradstreet to generate their Paydex score, which is their proprietary credit score. So if you have three vendors that are reporting to Dun & Bradstreet, then it's gonna generate that score. If you don't, if you have one, if you have two, you're not gonna see any score. So, and, and also on your, when you check on NAB, it's not gonna show anything on your company, okay? That's not the case with Equifax or Experian. So even if you have one or two vendors reporting to Equifax or Experian, you should still be able to find your report. There still should be data on your company, all right? So once again, very important to understand how stuff actually works in the business credit game, how stuff gets reported, it, what to look out for. Be a little patient. Be a little patient. It's if you signed up with a vendor today, it's not going to show up on your report tomorrow. It doesn't work like that. OK, hold on. It normally takes about 60 to 90 days sometimes for it to show up, depending on the vendor. OK, now don't forget two of the hottest vendors that report like clockwork are in the link in the description below. So if you guys are interested, make sure you guys check them out. They're in the link and they report like clockwork. Check it out. Small, medium, large business, whatever you got is worth it. OK, so if you guys are interested in more videos like this about money, business credit, make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel, like share the video. If you have comments, leave them in the comment section below. I answer all the comments. If you want to holler at me directly and become a part of my VIP membership, then also there's a link in the description below. Sign up for my free 15 minute consultation and let's talk. Become a part of the team, baby. OK, got a lot of stuff of value out there for you. OK two to three videos every week. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace and love, baby.